Hello, this is Christy. In today's tutorial for Shotcut, I will show you how you can convert an image sequence to a video clip so that you can use an image sequence as a video in your projects in Shotcut. So as an example, I have a logo animation here, which you can see it's part of it is made of individual frames where the logo kind of spins and zooms in. If I look at this in a larger icon, you can see all of the images. And if I open one and kind of cycle through them, uh, you notice that the image moves easily if I go through them one at a time. So these are individual images and they happen to be PNG files with alpha. So there is transparency in the file so that I can actually put something behind it or maybe make it animate on top of other videos. So how do I make this into uh, an actual video clip in Shotcut? It's very easy to do. I'm going to create a new project in uh, Shotcut. Call it sequence. Choose your uh, size or and frame rate. Click start. And now let's import these images. Click on open file. And you see all of the files here. If I switch to a list view, you can see they all have numbers in the file name. So there is no break in these numbers. They are from one to 180. So my animation has 180 frames. If I hover one of these files, you can see it's HD. So 1920 by 1080p, but it doesn't really matter for our example. You can have any size images you like, as long as they are all the same size and they are numbered in sequence. So all you have to do is just click on the first image. You don't need to select all of them. Click open and you can see that shortcuts trying to play it. It's not going to do much. Just click to, to go to the start. And what we need to do now is go to the properties. So this is the file I imported. Uh, you can see the file name is actually the first frame that I clicked on PNG. But you have to click on image sequence over here so that Shotcut knows it needs to treat this as an image sequence and look for subsequent frames. Click on this and now you see in this in the preview window here, it's reloading the image sequence and you can see in the preview window here that it actually shows a play bar. So if I play this now, you can see the logo spinning and zooming in. So because my background is black on my project, this image is also, you know, transparent and uh, a large part of it is black. You can't see uh, the first steps. So I can actually bring this down into my timeline just to show you. So you can see it here. And if you want to see some more, we can probably add another video track. So I can do another video track here, move this one to the, to, and on this second track here on the bottom, I can add another element, maybe a blank color. So I'm going to add color and I'm going to choose uh, maybe a white, bright white. I don't know. Okay. Click okay and add this to the timeline. So, okay. Make it as, you know, as long as the other clip. So there is, there's my background. It's white now and my logo with alpha. Of course, you can see it is uh, playing on top and you can see it through. So if I play this now, very cool animation. And there you have it. My sequence of images now has become a video clip I can use. I can, you know, cut it, stretch it, edit it any way I like. Uh, one word here about the frame rate. So the frame rate is actually going to be the frame rate of your project. So, you know, if you want to change that to your animation, you need to kind of stretch it and change the timing or uh, something like that to reinterpret the uh, footage in a different um, sort of duration. So I hope this short tutorial was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like uh, my tutorials, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more shortcut tutorials, video editing, Camtasia, Premiere, and all of the other software 
Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.